here with Martin, da is it Davalos or? Davalos, Davalos, yeah, you got it right. Everybody says it two different ways, so. They make it too complicated. <laughs> I'm here with Martin. Um, moving up from the 250, you had some solid rides on the 450 so far this year. How's the transition going for you? Do you feel good? Yeah, I mean, the transition is going pretty good for me. Um, I started off a little slow, you know, the, the deal came out, you know, very last minute and, you know, I, I really honestly prepared physically, you know, I, I, I think I could have, I, I could have started the season better if, if we, we planned it the right way. Um, but, you know, just, just to have the opportunity was, was amazing. So I, I didn't really have any complaints and, you know, I took the shot and always wanted, I've been wanting to do this for so long and, um, you know, finally they, they made it happen for me and, uh, you know, it just been, just been enjoying the summer, just really learning the bike and, you know, l learning, you know, what I'm capable of to do on the bike. Uh, it's, uh, it's quite different than the 250, you know, you know, I, I still kind of catch myself riding it like a two, uh, like a 250, especially at the beginning of the motos when just a lot of stuff is going um, on around you. But uh, yeah, it's it's been a it's been you know a bless blessing for me and grateful for the opportunity just to be you know here every weekend just doing what I love and you know racing the best uh, competitors in in the world. So I can't really complain much about that. When you see all the guys talking about how you've been on 250F forever and stuff. I mean, it isn't like, you know, you do what you do, you get the ride you can ride, and you do the best you can do with it. I mean, I, I think everybody, they would have killed for that, uh, they would kill for that, that opportunity. Yeah, a lot of people really don't, don't know really and, and, and understand what us as riders have to go through. I mean, there's, there's so many people trying to get rides and, you know, uh, at some point there, there isn't any options that we have, you know, and I just love this sport. I, uh, I'm, I'm blessed that I'm able to do it and whatever bike that I can get, whatever manufacturer that would choose to pick me is what I'm gonna do, you know, I'm not doing, I'm not racing for anybody else but for myself. So, um, you know, people, a lot of people have their, their thoughts and I respect that, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, there's absolutely nothing I can do, but I, I know that uh, what I'm doing is, is, is uh, what, what I have to do, you know, and, and uh, you know, there's limited options up, out there and, you know, like I said, very blessed that uh, you know I have this at the moment, and and uh, you know just proving um, that I can ride a 450 also. So uh, really, really happy with that. Yeah, it must be nice getting this shot so that before next year, if you're if you're I don't know if you're up for a contract or whatnot, you know people can see what you can do on the 450 and and go from there. Yeah, definitely. I mean, this yeah, uh, you know, basically the, this is this is what the summer is for. You know, try and see. Uh, improve people uh, to people that I can I can ride that bike. Um, you know, uh, my contract's up with uh, a Rockstar Husqvarna, so you know I um, I don't know what the future holds for me. But uh, you know I, I really don't want to think about the future. I want to think about the present and um, you know how beautiful the summer is so far. And uh, you know I'm just enjoying what I'm doing. And um, at the end of the day, I have to live to my fullest every single day. Give my best. You know. And uh, yeah, whatever happens at the end is uh, it's what's gonna happen and is what's gonna meant to happen. Coming from Ecuador, how hard was it to, one, break through as an amateur, and then two, you know, an adjustment to moving here to America and then, you know, doing everything you can do every year to stay on top of the sport. I mean, is that was that a real hard adjustment? Oh yeah, that, that, it was It was a crazy adjustment. I mean, um, you know, for me, a, a lot of people don't really know that I, I had a, such a short, amateur career I came here when I was you know 16 years old and uh, you know they put me on on the B class you know I did pretty well I read as on B then hopped to the A and then boom I, I was pro you, so I you know if I could take you know if I if I could redo it all I, I would like to be amateur a little longer just to get a little more experience and and race time here in America but you know com coming from Ecuador such a small country our sport is not the biggest and you know just I'm just proud of myself for for what I've done and the persistency that I've, you know, and in, in, in how hard I've worked, you know, because it's, uh, it's been something that I've really worked for, you know, by myself and, you know, with the belief of my family that, you know, since day one, they, they, they are the ones that have believed uh, throughout my whole career and, you know, now my wife, you know, it's just, uh, it's been a blessing to have all this support and, you know, just, just to be doing this, I mean, this is, uh, this is amazing. Last year when you were leading the Supercross points, 
what happened to where you couldn't go to Canada for that round or did, were you injured or was it something else that came up? No, there's, uh, there's, you know, a lot, uh, you know, when, when I came to Ecuador, you know, a lot of people that are from other countries, they know what we got to deal with the visa stuff. And, uh, you know, I, I hired somebody to do that for me and, and things weren't done the right way. So it was, uh, is you know, that's something that I, man, I, I, I still have it in, inside me. I just can't, I can't never forget. But, uh, you know, I, I feel like, uh, you know, God is, it's written my path and I just got to follow, stay focused. Obviously that, that was a really bummer, negative time of my, my life. But, you know, uh, here we are right now, you know, with a new opportunity and that's what life is all about. Just have a new opportunity, new day and, you know, new, new day to, to, to give your best. Okay. And lastly for today and the rest of the series on out, what's your, your goals and, and expectations for the rest of the series? Um, you know, my goals are just to try and get a good good start and, and run up front, you know, and just uh, just keeping it simple, you know, for me is a, a learning curve and, and experience. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of great guys that that are riding the class, so, um, you know, in, in respect to the bike. So I'm, I'm just going to go try and give, put two solid motos and mostly have fun because, you know, I feel like... The older I get now, it's just the, the more I'm enjoying this sport, and I'm really looking at the sport a different way. So, to me, it's it's amazing that I'm still enjoying it, and and uh, yeah, truly blessed.